Welcome back to Welcome to Anime. I have yet one more video on my top shows for the coming season, just one. And today we are going over my top five new, only new shows for the fall season. Make sure you stick to the end so you don't miss a single one. We're going to be starting out with number five on this list, and that's going to be Kimi no Koto ga Dai 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 Sukui na 100 Ninu Kanojo. The 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. Now, the reason this is on my fifth place for new shows this coming season is just because it sounds absolutely hilarious. It sounds like a harem anime on steroids, on mega steroids, and the premise seems absolutely bonkers, but if it's done right, it could be super, super fun and entertaining and be like a guilty pleasure for me this season. To just quickly summarize the summary here, Rentaro tried and tried again, asking 100 girls out on a date, but he was rejected every single time. In desperation, he prays for a guidance, only to be told by God that his, his rejections were due to some cosmic error. Now the God is going to set things right by making sure that he gets 100 dates, except, as things often do with gods, they have a catch. 100 girls are destined to be his soulmate, but unless he returns their feelings each and every time, they, they will die in horrible accidents. And if that doesn't sound absolutely bonkers, then I don't know. This show, though, as I said, it could be really, really fun. I really hope they do a lot with it, and don't just make it super meme but actually make it fun as well. Anyways, moving on to number four. The Vexations of a Shut-In Vampire Princess. Now, I put this at number four because it sounds like a fun story that has potential, and that can be really enjoyable. We basically just have this vampire princess who has been a shut-in neat. He, she's been appointed as the commander in this big demon whatever army, but since she's a shut-in, she doesn't drink blood, whatever, it makes her as a vampire very weak, and basically just follows her journey as she's then put as the commander of this big army and intriguing whatever else that follows that. If it's done well, I think it can be fun, but I'm very shaky on it. It can really fall on its ass and be a disappointment, but again, I hold out hope for now. Moving on to number three, Buta no Liver wa Kanetsu Shiro. And yes, it's the pig isekai once again on my list for number three of new shows this whole season. This pig isekai just sounds so hilarious. Being reincarnated as a pig is just like, wh why not, right? We, we did the vending machine last season. Let's go for the pig. Let's see what this pig can do in this fantasy world with his uh, new waifu. I've already covered it in two other videos, so I'm not going to go too far on this, but I think it's going to be very fun, and I hope you will too. Moving on to number two, Firefighter Daigo, Rescuer in Orange. I did have this on my list on my top 10 shows as well. This one is a proper, hopefully, firefighter anime. Not Fire Force with all the supernatural shit going on there. Just a firefighter anime. No magic, no bullshitty things around. Just, just firefighting. Just these elite firefighters risking their lives and safety to save other people. And fix crises as they develop in the city and whatnot. Like that... Sounds super fun and different than most anime you get, right? Sort of in the feel of My Home Hero in terms of being realistic in a sense. So I really hope this anime is going to be super good. I, I'm really, really looking forward to what they do with it. It looks crisp, it looks nice, and the story sounds very promising. So I'm looking very much forward to it and hope it will be good. That leads us to number one on my top Five new shows this full season, and uh, number one is Freeran Beyond Journey's End. Now, this has been hyped all hell to me by multiple people, and it does sound really intriguing. Like, if they nail what they are summarizing here and the story they are wanting to tell, this sounds really, really good. And it's, of course, made, made by, my, by uh, Madhouse, so you know the quality is going to be there. Just having a show dedicated to exploring the the future past being in an, an adventurous party dealing with your friends dying from that adventure party and you having to find your new way in life after you have parted ways in your youthful adventure and following this elf who lives way longer than any of our other party members and then trying to fulfill fulfill their last wishes and beginning this new journey sounds so deeply impactful and meaningful and emotional and and, and good. Like, if they nailed this, as I, as I mentioned, this might be the best show of the season. Not even, not even joking, not even hyping it up. Like, if they nailed this, this can be absolutely amazing. 
It looks great, it sounds great, and it's Madhouse behind it, so I, I, I expect a lot. I am expecting a lot. It will have a, what, a two-hour premiere or something? I think, I think that's what I heard anyway. So I am... I can't wait to cover this on the channel. I really can't. That being said, that's going to be my top five news shows for the coming fall season. Hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and all that good stuff. And if you have any thoughts on thought shows I missed, shows I should have had, or that you have on your list, or any other comments or thoughts, leave those down below. And if you want to check out my top 10 list for new and continuing shows for the full season, click right here.